but the Bulgarian has been allowed a wild card. She'll be going first, Elizabeth Nikolova, and uh, she, she has her wild card. She actually finished 13th in the, in the qualifiers, but uh, really nice that they allowed the host nation to choose somebody to actually take part in the apparatus finals. So well done to her. Kelly J. Sim. Fantastic for her to have qualified for these finals. And certainly it should be a very exciting one indeed. Marine Boyer, fourth in the beam in the Olympic Games back in Rio 2016. She can be sensational if it's her day. And uh, really looking forward to seeing her. Elizabeth Nikolova. So big moment for the wild card, Elizabeth Nikolova from Bulgaria. Very steady. Oh, that's a shame. She's uh, getting straight back on there. That's good. Steady. A split jump and another and now the on beam work Half turn with the split. Full rotation. She has beautiful hands and arms. She builds up. Well, it wasn't the most difficult routine, but what she did, she did overall fairly well. Just a few little elements that were a little bit unsteady on the feet but this is very mentally challenging this event the nerves really can get to you and uh, what a fabulous opportunity that was for her to be the wild card difficulty of the beam in qualifying was 4.60 but you know it's important that she doesn't do too much outside of her comfort zone really you know, she's young, she wants to get the experience. But she doesn't want to push herself too much too soon. The leaps were good. Real concentration in the face. <laughs> she builds up for this last dismount so well done to her so on Dean and Champon Great Britain lovely good T head touching the foot there that's good Beautiful extension in those legs. It's back walk over, free walk over, hold it, that's good. Seems very sure of herself on this beam. Good. to do some on bar work as well. But remember keeping it moving all the time. Not too many holds, not too many weights. Nice 
a split half turn. So now she has 10 seconds. Excellent. She's a beautiful gymnast to watch. And sometimes when you hear that gong, the uh, coaches actually say, don't panic. You know, if you, if you get a very small deduction, that's fine. But don't muck up the dismount because that's far, far more important. But she really was lovely to watch. As I said, an up and coming gymnast. Certainly really good prospect. As we look at the scores, 10.950. Sarah qualified in seventh place. 11.900. Very nice, it's up to the Totally down to the gymnast as to how they get on the beam. Two nice split jumps. Again, lovely, lovely arms. Hold it. Pirouette in split, but had to put her hand down. Looked a little bit tentative and nervous on that movement. And a nice free walk over. Very definite on that. Preparing for that all-important dismount. That was good. It wasn't a difficult program at all. Um, she had a difficulty of 4.9 in the qualifiers and scored 11.9. But her coach looks very happy with that performance. And 12.90 for Ondine. That is actually a whole point more than she got in qualifying. So well done to her. D. So next, Anastasia Bakniska from Ukraine, qualified in first place. She really is the one to beat. Going for something a bit different to get on the beam. As I say, it's entirely the gymnast choice. She looks very determined. Split leaps, one with half turn. the dance moves. Free walk over. Lovely extension in those feet. Keep it steady.
nice pirouette. And double tuck to finish. She had a great score in qualifying, 13.70. That was an excellent performance as well. So we'll wait and see how, how that compares. Sarah van Disseldorp, 11.90. While we wait for Maureen, it gives me a chance to tell you a little bit about what she's done in the past. So, European Championships, she's had a bronze in this event. So here we have Maureen Boyer from France. Doing the on-bar work to start. Lovely, very solid. Hit that split, that was good. Hold it steady. Full rotation and then back the other way. Nice side somersault. That's very difficult. Half turn of split. And double pike to finish. Well, has she done enough? Past silver and bronze medal of the European Championships on beam. Took the gold in the Mediterranean Games back in 2018 as well. Thirteen point two five zero. That's for Anastasia Bakinska. So that was about point well, about nearly half a point less than she got in the qualifying rounds. I think that's because she wasn't quite as steady on some of her landings. As we have another chance to watch Marine Boyer. She's really lovely to watch on the balance beam. Finished fourth in Rio on this exercise. Her score there was 14.60, so she is very, very capable. You could see the tattoo there. A lot of Olympians have a tattoo of those Olympic rings. Lovely double pike to finish. So warm up completed and now we have Varvara Zubova from Russia. Lovely. Look very confident at the beginning. Beautiful.
Very steady so far. Good combination there. Some good transitions. Nice free walk over. Oh, was right on the end of the beam there before she started that dismount. And I think that probably threw her a little bit. So the landing wasn't as, uh, as solid as it could have been. But actually the beam work was pretty good. She qualified fourth with 12.30. As we look at the scores for Marine Boyer, 13. 13 dead. That's 0 0.450 less than the qualifiers. But that does put her in second place at the moment, slightly ahead of Ondina Champon. So we have another look at Bavara Zabova from Russia, 18 years of age. Finished 10th in the beam in the 2019 World Cup and was part of the winning team at the European Championships in Bern a few years ago. Will. So Anna Cherik from Croatia, the 22-year-old, starts her performance on the balance beam. Just a little bit unsteady on those landings so far. Just needs to keep it together. Good side split. Nice pirouette. And beautiful arms. Free walk over. Nice free side somersault. Just a simple back tuck to finish. She had some nice moves in there, some nice transitions. A little bit wobbly, but she looks very happy with that. Smile and a hug from the coach. As we look at the next scores, 11.80 for Vivara Sabova. So that's 0.5 less than the qualifying score. Some of the acrobatic moves were very, very clean. But just looked a little bit nervous on some of the landings. But really beautiful to watch the extension in those arms right down to the fingertips. And a good split there. So next we have Diana Vorinska from Ukraine, qualified third. 
with 13.250. Got some good speed into that, but didn't quite get the, uh, the landing. Good height. Nice split jumps. Wasn't sure it quite got to the split on the second one. Nice pirouette. She looks very comfortable up there. Very graceful arms as well. Oh, I attempted fate, didn't I, saying she looked very comfortable up there. Such a shame. It was going so well until that point. But she's got up very, very quickly. But obviously, there'll be a deduction for that. It was right at the end as well. Very solid on the dismount. That's a shame for her. All the preparation, all the training, but it's actually how you do on the day that counts. And a Cherik 12.40. So she's already qualified for the Olympics in the all around. Was part of the team from Ukraine. That was where, yeah, she just too far over to one side, impossible to stay on then. But she was in the winning team for the European Championships back in 2020 with Ukraine. And took bronze in the beam and the all around a few years ago in the European Games when it was in Minsk in 2019 and says that's her most memorable moment so far. I'm sure there'll be plenty more memorable moments to come. So she's aiming for Tokyo and as I say, has already qualified, so it'll be all about the result there. We look at Kelly Sim. Lovely. Keep it steady. Looking very confident. Good. Some good dance move that they have to do. And double tuck. Didn't quite control it at the end, but overall a very good performance there from Kelly Sim, 26 years of age from Southampton. Qualified in fifth place, 12.10. Did well to qualify because the difficulty score, perhaps not as good as some of the others. 12.10 for Diana Verinska. But good to see Kelly Sim in these finals. 
took a team gold in the Commonwealth Games back in 2014 and took a bronze in this actual event in 2018, plus a team silver. It was part of the team that got bronze in the World Championships back in 2015. So very experienced. And certainly has good execution, beautiful hands. It keeps the difficulty to what she knows she can do and do well. She did well to stay on her feet there, just completely off balance at the end. So good to see two from Great Britain in this final. 11.950 was her score, slightly less than qualifying. As I say, hasn't got the difficulty as some of the of the gymnasts, so really quite hard to get the scores up as, as high as some of the others. And here is the full overview of the results. Anna Cherik just missing it by 0.5. And the wild card there, Elizabeth Nikolova from Bulgaria.